What's up today everybody? I am just about ready to do another run of bone char. I got an excellent load here from a local butcher. This pile of bone is about four feet by about three feet wide and about two feet tall. So I think this is probably a larger uh, stack of bone than I had last time when I made the 80 gallons. So I'm gonna shoot for 100 gallons. I'm gonna try to fill both of my 55 gallon barrels right up brimful today. And we've had some recent rain, so all the grass is nice and damp. And so no wind, and this is perfect conditions. I've been waiting for the right conditions to run another load, and this is it. So I've got that. I've also got some mesquite piled up here, just in case I need a little bit of wood. I used wood last time, so I'll try to use as little wood as possible. I wanna have this primarily bone char, but I am going to do it, and I'll take you back for the finished product. All right, my friends, I finished my two 55-gallon barrels full of bone char. I used up all the bone char I had, and I didn't quite fill up the barrel, so I did use quite a bit of wood as well. I would probably say it's about a 50-50 mix. So 50% wood, 50% bone, but I got them, oh, pretty close to the top. I would probably say I'm missing about oh, 15, 20 gallons in each barrel, and so I'm looking at roughly about, oh, about the same amount, I guess, 70 to 80, 80 gallons worth of uh, bone and wood char here that I will inoculate and turn into uh, biochar. So I'm gonna do a different method. I had a couple subscribers mention um, inoculating it as a compost on the ground. And so I do have a pretty large pile over yonder of uh, compost, finished compost. And so I'm going to set up a pile on the ground and I'm going to lasagna layer it with some of the finished compost, the uh, charcoal, and then I'll try to get some more food scraps tomorrow from the food distribution. And I'll just continuously add to it and maybe just layer in the charcoal. So I may just do some charcoal and just continue to build it up as I have resources. So I'll bring you in for that. Once I get that set up, we'll probably be within the next few days and maybe over a course of a few weeks. So I'll just have to play that one by ear and, and see how it works out. But just to show you what I've got here, this is a piece of the bone. And just look at those pores on this bone. It's just so beautiful. It crumbles so easily. And if you can just see those pores in the bone, it's just a lot more porous than the wood is. And so I think it would have make a better habitat for all the microbiology far more than the wood would make. So I just think it's a better finished product. And so I am completely sold on it. So I'm going to continue to call around and, and get the bone scraps from the butchers. And I'll try to make that an integral part of, of my uh, wood and, and bone char and ultimately biochar. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video today. I hope you and your family are having a great and blessed day and uh, hope you take care. God bless you. Okay.